Hello guys, welcome to another video. Oh, it's not in focus at all. Okay, so I just got a packet from FedEx. They lost this package twice now, which I'm kind of mad about, but it's here. So I'm gonna box it for you guys. All right, so without further ado, let's get on with this unboxing. Right, this is some thick tape. Unfortunately, I don't have the unboxing knife yet. Oh, you guys can see it. So from the Google Store, it's got you to a sim free life. Google Fi. I honestly might get Google Fi. But, anyways, you guys know, got the Pixel 5 in house. So, I'm gonna put this aside. Uh, and so, we got these little pull tabs here. I'll just pull on each side. So similar to like pretty much any phone by now, the box off. And see, leave the pixel off to the side. I don't, I don't want to feel the back yet because I've heard uh, polarizing things about it. So I'm gonna leave that later on in the video. Let's take this out. Bruh, this uh, paperwork is going to get out. Okay. So this just depends. Ooh, another set. I already broke it. Now this is an injection tool for the collection. Let's see what's in here. I think you get uh, YouTube Red for free as well as some other stuff. So just like regular books. Uh, no stickers, which actually I'm actually kind of sad about. So you get your charging brick unlike in the iPhone 12. And if, in case you missed it, I have an iPhone 12 unboxing. Uh, on my channel, I don't like it. Uh, over here, I think this is. Yeah, over here. Uh, so USB C to USB C. Pretty standard, I would say. The focus just is working on this camera. And then. Here, you have an OTG hub, which I haven't seen these in a while. Like the last time I saw this was maybe sixth grade when I wanted to connect like my uh, Xbox controller to my phone or whatever. Right. So let's put this back here if possible. Okay. Have this standing up. Oh. Put these to the side because I don't really need it right now. And here is the Pixel 5. So juicy, bro. What am I saying? Okay, so this the Pixel 5, obviously, I got it in black. So the back is made out of aluminum. Honestly, it does feel like aluminum. In my opinion, some people say it doesn't feel like it. It feels cold, it feels nice. So I'm gonna boot this up. Uh, that actually looks so clean with the uh, with the hole punch. So the screen is actually on right now, yeah. You guys can see there's some angles. Anyways, so we got a hole punch uh, front facing camera. You got one, I think one speaker in the back, one speaker in here, which I hear that is kind of trash. Got a fingerprint sensor, main uh, wide angle camera, ultra wide fingerprint sensor. It's actually in a really nice natural position. I know everyone says that, but but yeah, compared to the uh, iPhone 12 that I'm using, it's kind of like a similar size, obviously, without the case. But yeah, so I'm gonna go set this up and then I'll go come back. All right, I just want to touch up something here, like at physically and theoretically. So obviously, with the uh, Pixel 5, you get a fingerprint scanner, and it's really fast. Like, yeah, I want to. Uh, scan this finger. It's gonna take literally just 10 seconds. Now, I just wanted to note that in the setup process, that's something uh, 
I kind of found interesting. Alright, so I finished setting up my Pixel 5. Oh, well, just initially. So, yeah, it feels actually really good. The screen, in my opinion, is better than the uh, iPhone 12 I have over there. Um, I can definitely feel the uh, 90 hertz. So if you go into settings, I already searched it up. So if you search up, uh, okay. oh, so that's actually a glitch. Like, it just won't let me go into the search in the settings. So if you go to smooth. Smooth display, and we can see it automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90. Um, and I can see this screen is actually pretty bright. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for for like a first impression and uh, unboxing of this. I'm gonna include some picture samples right now, as well as a video sample. This is a first impression of the video uh, portion of the Pixel 5. So far it's pretty stable I'd say, but I don't know, for some reason it feels like it's going into 30 frames per second for some bits and then going to 60. It could just be the light, but I don't know. Then I just took walking around my room. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.